when should we start taking mocks? When should one start taking mocks? The best day to start taking mocks is today. Very auspicious day. Whenever you're watching this video, that day is the best day to start taking mocks. Uh, you should start taking mocks very early, very early, whenever possible, mainly because the more you defer it, the bigger it becomes. It's like that one phone call to a friend you have not called back. If you do it, he called you today, you don't call it to, to, today. You push it to tomorrow, day after, four days later. After that, it just doesn't happen because there have been four days since you received the call. So the first mock or the first three mock, it's like that. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you say, look, I'll get everything right. I'll be in perfect shape. I'll finish syllabus. That day after office, I'll come. I'll be here by 4 p.m. Grab a shower. Be perfectly ready. Never going to happen. Just take one. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the system. Super important to take a first few mocks very early. A bunch of things to keep in mind. Your first mock scores don't get counted anywhere. The first three mocks don't tell it to anybody. Scores don't matter. The act of taking the mock is so much more important than cracking or doing well or grabbing a handle on it. It's going to take a few mocks to just get to know what mocks are about. Don't push that to September or August. Do that in April, May, June. And so do it as quickly as possible. Super important. Um, another thing to keep in mind is very often I, I hear students saying, but I have not even finished syllabus. And which is that whole idea is bogus. It's just, it's just a way of deferring mock taking. If you think about it, one third of the exam is verbal. If you know how to read, you prepare for verbal. There's no syllabus completion. One third is LRDI. You can get better. You can understand it intuitively. You can know how many uh, standard templates are there, all of that. But technically speaking, there's no syllabus. Two thirds is gone. The one third for which syllabus is there is only quant. If you've done some basic arithmetic, if you know how to write two equations, if you know what the percentage is, what a ratio is, uh, chances are you can attempt maybe six or seven out of 23 questions. You attempt 11, you're at 94th percentile. Nobody is going to attempt all 23. So out of two, uh, when I'm saying 23, I say 22, 23, 24, whatever the number they set it, it's a ballpark number. So chances are, you reframe it, you're starting off with knowing already 75% of the preparation. 75% of the syllabus, not preparation. 75% of the syllabus you already know. One of the most important habits to cultivate is to become joyful when you leave a question. And when you first, when you're taking off and you leave a question, you feel bad. You feel like, I don't know this, whatever. I haven't prepared, there's a gap in my syllabus, all kinds of things. But leaving a question is actually a super important thing in the cracking cat. Picking your battles is way more important than cracking those battles. So choosing the right passage, choosing the right puzzle, choosing the right question. If your decision making is spot on, you're waltzing through to an IM. And so decision making trumps speed and computation any day, any day. And so you so temperamentally, you've got to get comfortable with saying, I'll leave this question. I'll leave this also. I'll leave this also. I don't know this. And not feel bad about leaving questions. You have to go to a point where you start feeling good about leaving questions. For that also, taking mocks before you complete syllabus, super important. So don't, don't defer mock taking. Whenever you take a mock, make sure to take to some amount of detailed analysis to know what where you stand. But for the first few mocks, even your analysis will be subpar. That's all right. Don't make mock taking a big deal. You have to take so many mocks so frequently, so intensely that it doesn't take much out of you. Then amp it from there on. So don't don't defer this process. Best wishes.